What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are going to be talking a little bit about just Friday content in general in my team. And it's just not the same now, is it? It's just not the same. That's the only way I can describe it. Like, I'm sitting here, I'm trying to like, I'm thinking, yeah, it's Thursday. Like season content doesn't even matter anymore. I'm sitting here like, Oh, am I looking forward to making videos tomorrow and thinking, oh, tomorrow's an early day. Like, I literally used to love Fridays because I could make so many videos. I could do so much work. There'd be new cards. It would, uh, there might be a brand new budget card that I could use and hype up and budget cards don't exist anymore. But like, Friday drops are just pointless. There's just no, they're, they're just pointless. They're just absolutely pointless. Like, that's all I can say. Um, there's just no point. Like, tomorrow's drop is going to be another drop of the same. Like, there are going to be some good cards tomorrow. Like, you've got Amen Thompson. Like, I'm out here on my Nomadi Spent account. Like, I've grinded a crap load of this game in the last, like, two weeks. I've grinded so much of this game right here. And you can see I've got almost all these cards. I'm playing a ton of the game modes. Um, I'm probably going to... I really wish I had Bill Russell. That's kind of one guy. I missed out on him by like about an hour. I tried to get him and I was just too late. I thought I had enough time and I didn't. And I just couldn't care less for the Jamarant cards. But I, I got almost all of these. So you can see anyway for Bill Russell, the only player I didn't get was Steve Francis. So... With these guys right here, I was like, I'm grinding a ton of the game. And I was able to buy Corver. I was able to buy Corver. That's it. That is literally it. I grinded all the playoff sets. All the, um, a ton of TT offline, a ton of TT online. Like, I almost have Gilbert Arenas and Eddie Jones. I did all the bold sets. I did all the playoff sets. And the only player, I can get one player. I can get one player. So anyone being like, oh, it's easy to grind up your MT to get players every week. So for example, if I got Corver and I wanted Sean Livingston, because Sean Livingston will make my team. Like I need to play about eight or nine hours of this game just to get Sean Livingston on top of that. And that is if you play a specific modes. So if you're grinding for this type of stuff, you're never going to make enough MT unless you play Unlimited to get, if you play a bunch of Unlimited, sure, you can get these guys. But, like, it's not realistic for a person weekly to gain 150k MT needed for a decent card. But back in the day, it used to be... Like, back in the day, he'd be, like, 30k. He'd be, like, 20k. He'd be 10k. 2k, 2k, 2k. If you played this game for three hours, you'd be able to get Kaminga, Asar Thompson, Reggie Theus, and Gilmore, and Peyton, or Corbett. In three hours of playing this game, you'd be able to either get Corver and the Pink Diamonds or Gilmore Payton and the Pink Diamonds. But now, three hours of this game gets you Reggie Theus. It's just, like, as somebody that... And the only reason I was making content, like, if you guys saw, I made quite a lot of content on Vortex. I made Eclipse content. I made Gladiator content and Stratosphere content. The reason I was able to do that was because I literally had access to an account where the Paul George glitch was done on. Like, that's the only reason. Like, it was literally, it wasn't my account. It was a housemate's account. I logged onto the account one day, saw that it had every card in the game prior to December, and made sure I got the all clear to actually use the account and sell all the cards for content. And now that, like, the Paul George glitch money has dried up, I'm like, it's just not possible for me to actually accrue or acquire enough MT in a week to get any of the cards and do anything. So maybe it's a case of, oh, you're just, I'm just looking at this from a channel perspective, but that's not it. It's like, it was where my enjoyment came from. Like you guys have been around long enough to know that my enjoyment came from these gems. Like Wesley Person was my favorite card last year. And even don't, let's take out, take into account other years. Like last year kind of sucked. Let's say two years ago, two years ago, it's the 9th of May. So once that came out two years ago this weekend, um, two years ago this weekend was the... One of my favorite days in... Oh, actually, no. Sorry, it was Supernova. I hated the Supernova set, so it's something. But in a Denny Goat. Like, if you guys remember the Supernova set, and you're being like, oh, it's just for content. 
if you guys remember these cards, do you guys know who I used in game and who I didn't use? You never saw me use this magic. You never saw me use this hard in this Andre Karolenko. You know, wanna know who you saw me use? Denny Goat. I used Denny. I made videos with Amon Shumpert. Rick Smith, who came out free. I called him the Yao Stopper. Boris Dia was a freaking beast. I don't know why, but he was a beast. Um, even Shannon Brown last year could at least play point guard. That year could play point guard. He can't even play point guard now. And then obviously he had a really good release that year and he's got a bomb release this year. But we had Denny go. Denny Avdia, one of my favorite players in the entire game that year. But it's like, when we look at budget players, they don't exist anymore. And I think that is a huge part of the Friday content is that it's priced players out. It's priced me out of it. It's priced me. Not only has it priced me out of like some cards, it's priced me out of it entirely. Like if you look at my channel last week, the only cards where I'm like, ta I talked about was Sean Livingston. I talked about Sean Livingston because he was kind of exciting, I guess. Like Sean Livingston was all right. Um, but I made a video and I'm like, I can't, like, Mike Miller last year was 8k and this year he's 126k, what the hell's up with this? But it's just now a case where it's like, you get lucky, you do the agenda pack, which takes about an hour. And back in the day, if you played enough of the game to get, like, you might be leaning, like, oh, but like, you can get one of these packs in the agenda for one of these cards. It's like, well, yeah, but it takes so, it takes about three hours to do an agenda for a likelihood of a pink diamond. But like, if you just played three hours of the game any other year, you would have gotten all the pink diamonds and half the ovals. Like, it's just, it's just mind boggling. It's just absolutely mind boggling. Like, I just don't, not only that, the pink diamonds suck. The pink diamonds absolutely suck. Like, people are being like, oh, Tara Eason's great man's 52 KMT. 52 KMT. He should be 3 KMT. If he was 3k MT, sure, he's fine. He's fine for that. But it's taken, it takes away from everything. There's no point to look at on Friday because there's no point using cards. There's no point trying out cards. There's no point doing any of this. There's actually just no point. There's no, I don't even know what the point of my team is anymore. Because it's not building your team. Is the point of my team waiting for what 2K, content 2K put out on a Tuesday, doing that content over the next few days, and then waiting for Tuesday again? Is that is that the point of my team? Or is the point of my team, log in every Friday, get your fix of gambling, then probably don't play the game that much. I just don't get it. I, I just don't. I don't even get what the point of my team is. These Friday sets used to be the highlight they would be the highlight for all of us because it would always be something new. There would always be a progression. There would always be pacing, but there's no pacing. There's not even pacing. And people are like, oh, but like they've paced the game well. No, they don't. If you literally, let's let's go to season four. You see these guys right here? See this guy right here? If you gambled and you got him, this guy is almost as good, if not better than anybody you can buy. You see this guy right here. He's almost good. At, he's probably the best small forward. He's better than any small forward you can buy. And this this is February. We're looking at February. So if you wanted to gamble, you could get borderline end game cards, or guys that would survive an end game. If you wanted to gamble, you can get them in February. But all they've done is just make bomb after bomb after bomb after bomb after bomb that we can buy. And if you wanted to grind your life away, sure. If you wanted to, fair play to anyone who has the Kanban with Tombo, but I'm sorry, um, I don't, I don't care. Like you took a risk, fair play, fair play if you took the risk, but like you took a risk that these guys weren't, well, they're not here, that Paul Pierce, or not Paul Pierce, Tony Parker, uh, Dan Issel, and I can't remember who the other guy is. They were all bums. They were, all those guys were bums. These guys here. All these guys were unusable. They were unusable scrubs. All three of them were absolute scrubs. So <laughs> after how bad these were, with how good the Kembe is, fair play to you guys. For the people that grind at this mode to get these bombs, fair play. Um, But yeah, it's just... I just don't... There's just no point. I just don't know what the point of it is. 
I actually just don't know what the point of this game mode is anymore. Like, it's not even... It's just... It's grind to grind. Like, it takes so long. If you want to not spend money on this game, and even on Fridays, if you want to not spend money on this game, you've got to grind, do agendas for everything. But then, if you want to just do agendas for everything, you're playing too, you're playing so much of this game that you're not playing the game. If you get me. And like, we only have so many hours in a day. Like, I spend so much time playing. I've played, spent more time playing this game this year than I probably spent, than I spent playing 23. 22, it's very similar to 22. I'll say it. I probably spent a very similar time playing this year to playing 2K22. I don't even feel like I played this game. I just feel like I'm doing random ass agenda challenges, not playing the game, and then still, and then just hoping for bold cards to do nothing with them. Like it's just, it's a cycle. And back in the day, I would at least be able to get some budget cards on a Friday, use them in TTO, use them in clutch time, use them in unlimited a few games. But now it's just, I just don't even know. I just don't, I just don't even know. Either way, look, my team's not changing anytime soon. 2K or evil, yada, yada, yada. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.